Hello, YouTube devotees of uh, preparedness, survival, gadgetry, whatever. Uh, today, I'd like to um, explain some of the virtues of yet another excellent County Com product. And this is the Grizzly Grip, uh, sold on their website for uh, oh, very low bucks, very affordable, singly or in quantity. And uh, I have a, a bunch of these. And let me first show you how I believe it's supposed to be used, for example, uh, to secure at the end of a tarp, say uh, one that's got a blown out eyelet, no way to grip a cord, you need to somehow in the field jury rig something. So what you do is you put your defective uh, tarp right there in those alligator grips. This is called the grizzly grip, but some people might call it an alligator grip. You put your finger right in there or your tarp instead and then you you tighten up you tighten up and you wonder well how is this uh, section here this part of the scissor if you will how is it going to stay tensioned behind this slotted piece well it doesn't take a genius to figure out what you simply do is you pass a portion of paracord after all you're going to lash this tarp to something you're going to use paracord likely as not to do that and once you've wedged a little length of paracord in there, you see you've successfully kept the scissors closed. And if you look closely at this video, you'll see the teeth are, let me get this exactly right, if I can, the teeth are interlocked. That tarp is going nowhere. So it's a great product, just as I've described its use here. But then I got to thinking, what if I needed um, not to uh, pull something with a section of rope, but I wanted to hold something maybe to dry um, onto my pack. Uh, I wanted to clamp something thin enough to be clamped, but I didn't want to have to pull on it. I didn't want to have to have uh, a long section of cord. Uh, I didn't want to go hunting for a piece of cord. So what did I do? Very simple. It's laughably simple. All of you will be able to do this immediately. Um, here's another one just like it, except I've drilled a hole at the end of it. That's all I've done to this. I was careful enough to drill a hole whose diameter would be not big enough as to break open this section. And I uh, drilled a pilot first, and I took all due diligence and care, and it went fine, no problem. Okay, now what does that do for me? Part two of the solution is get yourself a piece of paracord, tie a knot in it. There are two ways now that you can have a piece of paracord, paracord at the ready at all times to keep this thing clamped solidly. Uh, the simple way to do it, I guess, uh, the brain dead way to do it, would be to run that piece of paracord right through this hole. And there are numerous ways you'd lash it permanently to this hole. Pulling it through is one way. It's likely going to go nowhere now. And now every time I need a piece of paracord simply to keep the thing closed, I've got it at the ready. It's going nowhere. This thing is clamped shut. I can also use this length here to uh, attach it to whatever I care to. Um, that would be the easiest thing. I, I could attempt to, to lash some webbing through here, but that's an extra step that I don't need to take if I've got a piece of paracord ready for the locking purpose, ready for the attachment purpose. But it gets better if I can take this apart for you, pull this out, <clears throat> and now thread this thing just a little bit differently I might have a better solution still and let me figure out in which direction I'm gonna thread this uh, probably from this side if I get it wrong I'll redo it the right way alright so I've threaded it through and I've decided for whatever reason you'll see why to loop it through the jaws I want to point out to you that a piece of paracord, normal piece of cord, um, is not thick enough to encumber the closure. This thing is closed with no effort right now. It's trapped a piece of paracord in there, right? And uh, that jaw has no trouble, trouble chewing, if you will, on what it needs to clamp down on. But watch this. I pull this up once again, as before, and I lash some of the tail of this through it, it's locked. Okay? Now, how is that substantively different? 
Well, as far as locking, no different than the first technique, except there's one thing. The way I ran that cord through, I'm going to pull these away, I now have a gap through which I can run things, or if I was sharp enough, thought enough in advance, let's undo this, if I had first, opening this up, it's jammed by itself on some of that paracord. It shows you how effective that paracord is uh, in that gap to uh, cause it to close and stay closed. If I take it apart again, right, run this end through some webbing before I put it through the jaws, now I have a clamp that's sitting on my webbing, always on my webbing, ready to go, and steady state when there's nothing to clamp. I just t uh, close it in the usual way and now it's sitting there on my pack, let's say, clamped, ready to rock and roll. Or sitting on whatever, clamped to whatever, through this paracord. Now all I have to do is open it up. All right, Easy enough. Open these jaws. Again, I've unwittingly trapped a piece of cord in here. Doesn't take much to get that thing to do its job of clamping shut. Now, it's, imagine, fixed to whatever. I pull that tight. I clamp down on my uh, wet rag or whatever it is I want to clamp to the back of my backpack to dry off in the sun as I hike along. And all I have to do is, bingo, run through. <laughs> I wish my fingers were more adept at these things. Mike of County Com, I think, does a much better job in these videos. Go see his. But there you have it. So um, I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. The product is great without an upgrade. Go buy it. But it has the potential to do more than uh, you otherwise might have thought of. Hope this has given you ideas. Uh, the bottom line idea is you buy good products, and they nominally serve a good purpose right out of the box. You put a little imagination to it, and they serve so many more purposes that even the inventors hadn't imagined. Have a great day.